agenda. The proposed resource allocation as well as revenue raising measures that the government will implement in the financial year 2024-2025 budget are going to be summarized. But Mr. Speaker, we have to remember that we have one major problem that has three phases. This problem is as follows. There is increased demands for increasing, uh, for increased spending or expenditures from the government. That means that either we have to finance that through taxes or debt. The second dimension of this problem is that there is limitation and even constraints imposed in terms of public debt accumulation and even the debt carrying capacity of the economy. Third and more fundamentally, there are limitations in terms of mobilizing higher tax revenues, something that we have to remember, something that is quite critical from our side. Let me turn now to the economic policy context. Mr. Speaker, the financial year 2024-2025 budget has been developed against the backdrop of improved global economic outlook. The world economy stood at 3.2% in terms of growth in 2023 and is projected to continue at the same pace in 2024. In the domestic economy, Mr.